Hey everyone, Saksham here and welcome to this class of virtualization. In this class, we are going to read everything that you need to know about virtualization. And as you can see that the virtual box by Oracle is already there in front of your screens. And why do I love the Oracle virtual box most is that there are several reasons beside that because there are also other players that are out there running into the market already like VMware is also there. But why I have given the virtual box because uh, virtualization has a cross platform technique. So it can be there on Windows as well, on Linux as well, on Macintosh and on Solaris as well. And if you talk about the chart flow or you can say the mechanism of virtualization, then you can see that there is one central processing unit in which you have your primary operating system and your RAM and storage is being allocated to your primary system. But right there, you can come up with a virtualization player, which is going to be VirtualBox throughout this course. And in the VirtualBox, you can give the allocated storage and the RAM. And there you can choose the operating system as well. For example, you can install Kali Linux, which is going to be there in this course. And also you can use other operating systems inside the virtual box. For example, you can use CentOS, the different, different flavor of Linux. Uh, you can also install the different, different version of Windows as well. And you can see that uh, like you burn the ISO for burning the image into the CDs or DVDs, likewise, uh, after you will successfully configure your operating system, it will get the output in the format of .vbox or OVA, which means that is the file that you can take it in your pen drive and you can import them anytime and you don't need to configure your operating system ever again. So .vbox or OVA is the output that you get after configuring your operating system inside the virtual box and it is already there into the storage after your operating system is successfully configured inside the virtual box. And if you talk about that, why am I so biased towards the virtual box the reason is this guy the richard stallman he is the father of open source so basically oracle virtual box was released under gpl version 2 that is general public license which has given you a lot of authorities for example you have a freedom to use virtual box for any kind of purpose uh, you can also see or navigate the changes that is being done with the help of virtual box in your computing you can also redistribute and help the community if if they wish to get it and also you can modify the versions like brandings and the different different things out there you can also configure a lot of tools out there and you can redistribute them inside the virtual box so you have a lot of freedom out there in order to use the virtual box where if we talk about the vmware then you cannot use the vmware for any commercial purpose for example if you are going in any kind of security audit uh, then you gotta have to take the paid edition of vmware which is why we prefer using the virtual box so we are done with everything Thing that you need to know before you get started with virtualization so let's quickly jump on to the installation of VirtualBox. but right now since i'm running on mac operating system so let me tell you that how you can install the virtual box inside your mac os so first of all let me go ahead and open up my google chrome here on to the google you can write the first query which says virtual box download and there are few exceptions in mac os so this is going to be the url for you virtualbox.org forward slash wiki forward slash download here you can click on this second option though you can see that there are a lot of options out there for example uh, the windows user may click on the first one and then you have a os x version of virtualbox also you have the version of linux but right now i'm going to choose the second one os x i'm going to click on uh, the second link which will download the virtualbox.dmg file for my Macintosh. And here I'm going to click on this file, which can start my installation of VirtualBox, which is uh, really handy out there. Just simple click, click, next, go. So let me just double click on virtualbox.pkg. And as you can see that uh, this package will run a program to determine if the software can be installed. Let me click on allow. Let's click on continue. You can change the installation location, but I do not recommend that much. And I'm gonna click on install. It is prompting me for the password. So let me quickly enter my password. And then you can see that it is writing the file inside my operating system. And as you can see that I'm getting this prompt of 
the successful installation basically in some of the cases it will uh, occur some kind of problem into macintosh for not allowing it uh, to install the virtual box there you have to go into the settings under here you need to go into the security and privacy you need to click on this lock in order to make the changes and make sure you uh, type in your password that you have entered into your operating system and here you will see some kind of prompt that you need to allow in case if you are facing any kind of problem while installing the VirtualBox. Restart your system and you're good to go with the installation of VirtualBox into your Macintosh system. But that's it for this video. See you again into the next one.